Let's now try to go ahead and understand the next few arrows of the same diagram. It's a very big diagram. So I'm going to go a little slow with this case, right? So now I want to talk about arrow 8. So physical geography affects the evolution and timing of the colonies, which affect the type of colonies. Ki kis ka colony banega, okay? Which goes ahead and affects the type of colony goes ahead and affects the post-colonial institution quality. Right? So I want to talk about arrow 8, 9, and 10 in this lecture. See, first of all, try to understand that we want to understand what kind of place we are going and capturing. Kya humne India ko capture kiya? Ya humne kisi or country ko capture kiya during that period? Which place were we capturing? And which period were we capturing in? That is very important, right? That played an important role in what kind of colony would be established. Kya ek aisa colony established hoga where we will just quickly steal and leave that country? Humne ho gaye, usse sab kuch churaya aur humne us country ko chhod diya. Or we will go ahead and we will live for multiple years like it happened in India. They not only stole everything from India, but they sustained in India. Britishers lived in India. Country, when you sustain in a country, when you live in a country, what is going to happen in that case? In that case, it means that you will start your production process there. You will start industries there. You will establish some institutes there. You will establish some institutes establish karoge. And when you will be establishing some institutes there, then that place will, will you, know, un, you know, unwillingly also go ahead and will adapt to your institutes. So, jab, for example, agar person A, person B ko jake capture karta hai, country A, country B ko capture karta hai, and it stays here for suppose 150 years and it establishes its institute or wo apna law and culture or sab kuch sikha deti hai, then even when this country will leave country B, to country B will show that part. Wo culture ko inhabit karega. It will adapt to that culture. It will show the, the, the things from, from, from those uh, in the country. You know, it will, the institutes of this country will change. That is what we are talking about, right? Okay, now let's start understanding. So the early inequalities, the early inequalities puts limit on the non-elite. Population access to land, education, finance, property protection, voting right, etc. So, now what happens is that if earlier inequalities exist, karti hain, if there were inequalities that were existing earlier only in a country, what it means? It means that it will go ahead and it will reduce the opportunities that will be available to the people. It will keep them away from taking advantage of industrialization. Agar wo country mein pehle hi bhoat inequality hai, to wo country ko industrialization ke benefits reap karne mein, it will take a lot of time. Right? So North America, for example, it had scarce labor and abundant land. Thik. Ab yahaan pe zameen to bhoat thi, but the labor was limited. So it wanted to attract more settlers, and wanted to encourage them to engage in the colonial economy. Right? Unko ye bhi chahiye tha ki log vaha ke rahe aur vahi log unki madad kare to establish more of the colonial economy. Right? Facilitate broad innovation, entrepreneurship and investment. So, here because there was a lot of land, a lot of capital, it was a rich country, it could facilitate innovation, it could facilitate entrepreneurship, it could facilitate investment. If the local population is larger, denser and social organization is more advanced, it was easier for colonies to take over the existing social structure to gain the tribute. So, if this country is going to go, the population is very high. Right? And at the same time, par, it is easy to go ahead and establish themselves. Huh? Just for example, it happened in India. 
I always give the example of India. It is easier to go ahead and it is easier to understand things with India. So if we talk India, ki baat kare, so what happened? The Britishers, they started by, by introducing a company, East Indian company. The aim was first to go ahead and establish trade, right? And slowly through establishing trade, they ended up capturing the entire country. They ended up getting, uh, you know, they ended up uh, getting people fight with each other, getting the uh, kings, uh, few kings on their side, few kings fighting against them. So Britishers took the benefit of a large, dense population right and at the same time they went ahead and they established their own institutes within india and wo institutes to britishers ne establish ke ya wo systems to britishers ne establish ke like for example the zamindari system right those institutions they favored two kind of people who they the people who were already rich and britishers themselves right so we saw that the resulting institutional arrangements that we have that favored the existing wealth, that favored the existing wealthy people, right? And it favored extracting the wealth from people and keeping it in your hands, leading to decline in relative fortune of these regions. And that's the region, that's the reason India became very poor. According to Asim Muglu, if geography was fundamental to development, the most prosperous area prior to colonization would remain prosperous today, but this is not the case. So, this is a very important fact. Hai. So, Asim Muglu said something very important. If we believe that this is that geography has a role to play, and you know, the landlocked regions and they will never grow, and those regions which have which are in the subtropical region, they will not grow. If geography has a role to play, so those regions which were rich before they were captured by the colonies, before the colonization hui, jo countries rich thi, those countries would remain rich or they agar unse sab kuch steel bhi ho liya gaya, then also they will regain their prosperity because they are geographically rich. Hmm? But that is not the case, right? So aisa dekha gaya ki kuch countries hain jo geographically bahut sound hai. जो जो चीज जोग्राफिकली हमें चाहिए होती है फॉर अ कंट्री टू डेवलप वो सब है उनके पास दे आर वेरी साउंड जोग्राफिकली बट स्टिल दे आर नॉट एबल टू गो अहेड एंड ग्रो राइट एंड व्हाई दे आर नॉट एबल टू गो अहेड एंड ग्रो बिकॉज़ वंस एवरीथिंग वाज स्टोलन फ्रॉम देम दे नेवर गेंड बैक देयर ओरिजिनल प्रॉस्पेरिटी एरो 8 सो दिस इज व्हाट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ज्योग्राफी इन्फ्लुएंस्ड अर्ली इकोनॉमिक हिस्ट्री इन यूरोप तो अब हम क्या बात कर रहे हैं टाइमिंग की सो यू रिमेंबर Arrow 8, if I just go back to arrow 8. Arrow 8. Arrow 8 is evolution and timing. Right? So now we are saying that timing has a very big role to play. Early development in Europe gave advantage over most other regions. The timing of European development influenced the type of colonial regime established. So, ab kis tarike ki colony established hogi? It also depended on what time the colony was captured. Kya usko bahut pehle capture kar liya gaya ya baad mein? And it also depended on that at that time, what kind of condition existed in the colony, right? Kya colony aisi thi jahan pe kya jis country ko ham capture kar rahe hain wo aisa tha jahan pe we could sustain for a long period of time. Or we should just steal and leave that country, right? So the type of colonial regime Im implemented varied considerably depending on the condition prevailing at the type of colonization, both in different part of the world colonized and within the home country. So both of these are important. Thi. Which means that suppose country A is capturing country B. So we need to see that at that time, what is the condition of country A? Right? And at that time, what is the condition of country B? Both the things were important. Right, The time of colonization, both in the different part of world colonies and within the colonizer's home country, both of them were important. Early colonization, more stealing rather than productive against the later colonization. So this is just one example. So during the earlier periods, when it started in the beginning, it was the beginning of the time, 
कि आ, कुछ कंट्रीज ने बाकियों को कैप्चर करना शुरू किया ड्यूरिंग द अर्लियर पीरियड इट वॉज मोर ऑफ स्टील एंड गो यहां से चोरी करो और निकलो यहां से बट ड्यूरिंग द लेटर पीरियड इट वॉज सीन दैट द कोलोनाइजेशन पैटर्न वॉज वेरी डिफरेंट द कोलोनाइजेशन पैटर्न वॉज मोर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन विद इन द कंट्री मोर ऑफ स्टेइंग विद इन द कंट्री लाइक इट हैपन इन इंडिया राइट दे मेड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल देर स्लेव है ना एंड दे केप्ट द लेबर टू दे कीप केप्ट एक्सप्लॉयटिंग द लेबर राइट एंड द कंडीशन ऑफ द इंडियन लेबर एंड द स्लेव वर वेरी वेरी पुअर इट वॉज वेरी वेरी पुअर राइट सो द क्वेश्चन इज दैट एट वॉट टाइम अ कंट्री इज गेटिंग कैप्चर्ड एंड अकॉर्डिंगली वॉट काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन विल प्रिवेल ठीक है द टाइप ऑफ कॉलोनी इस्टेब्लिश है इनॉर्मस इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन पोस्ट कॉलोनियल इंस्टीट्यूशनल पॉलिटी तो अब अगर कोई भी कंट्री सपोज कंट्री ए कंट्री बी में बहुत समय के लिए रही फिट स्टेड इन कंट्री बी फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम देन इन दैट केस कंट्री बी विल अडेप्ट टू द इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ कंट्री ए बट इफ इट जस्ट स्टोल एंड वेंट तो इंस्टीट्यूशन विल नॉट चेंज राइट सो कमिंग अप ऑफ रूल ऑफ किंग कॉजिंग ऑपरेशन आफ्टर द कॉलोनियल रूल वॉज ओवर सो इट वॉज सीन दैट इन मेनी कंट्रीज वेन कॉलोनियल रूल वॉज ओवर ऑल्सो जब कॉलोनीज चली भी गई सो द किंग केम बैक एंड स्टार्टेड एक्सप्लॉयटिंग पीपल एंड देर वॉज स्टिल ऑपरेशन एंड एक्सप्लॉयटेशन मच आफ्टर द कॉलोनीज वेंट मतलब दैट फीचर वॉज एडोप्टेड कि ठीक है द कॉलोनीज वॉज कॉलोनीज वर गोइंग अहेड एंड ऑपरेसिंग पीपल सो वी विल कंटिन्यू ऑपरेसिंग पीपल विल कंटिन्यू एक्सप्लॉयटिंग पीपल अब बैड इंफ्लुएंस क्या क्या देखे गए कि किसी भी कॉलोनी के आने से क्या क्या अडेप्टेशन आए किसी कंट्री के अंदर स्लेवरी एक्सप्लॉयटेशन लॉस ऑफ कल्चरल हेरिटेज रिप्रेशन ऑल दीज वर बैड इंफ्लुएंसेस बट देर वर सम गुड इंफ्लुएंसेस ऑल्सो सो दीज कॉलोनीज दैट केम ये जो भी कॉलोनीज आदि थी दे एक्चुअली ब्रॉड विद देम गुड साइंस फॉर एग्रीकल्चर एंड मेडिसिन दे वर टेक्नोलॉजिकली वेरी सेफ एंड साउंड उनका टेक्नोलॉजिकल बैकग्राउंड बहुत अच्छा था तो जब वो किसी और कंट्री को कैप्चर करती थी वो अपनी अच्छी टेक्नोलॉजिकल फैसिलिटीज वहां लेकर आती थी सो दिस वॉज अ गुड इन्फ्लुएंस एंड ऑफकोर्स वेन द कॉलोनीज वेंट बैक जब वो जैसे इंडिया से जब ब्रिटिशर्स चले गए इवन आफ्टर दैट दैट पीरियड वी स्टिल हैड सम ऑफ द गुड थिंग्स ऑफ ब्रिटिशर्स विद राइट इट वॉज because britishers were there that somehow we had that starting of uh, the tatas the entrepreneurship during that period only it happened right uh, the coming up of uh, the steel industry the coming up of the railways although britishers had built the railways for their use but we had coming up of the railways during that period right so there were good things also that were coming <laughs> excuse me so there were good things also which were happening along with the bad influences of course theek okay? hai so this is what arrow number 10 says right so if you go to arrow number 10 post colonial institution quality so after these these rulers went back to kuch institution ke ke level pe bhi hame farak pada and that is what this mentions okay okay beta right 